So now what we're going to do is we'll talk about engineering at Homerton and how sort of Homerton fits into the overall engineering um, world that you're going to be immersed in. So we've spoken about the course, admission test interviews, now let's talk about Homerton. Well, in addition to your timetabled lectures, as I mentioned in the department, a large amount of your time will be dedicated to um, private study. And that's about 40 to 45 hours per week being typical. So it's, it's like I said, the Cambridge workload is intense. And this is a typical timetable for a first year and how that private study fits in. So you can see that you have lectures in the mornings as well as labs on certain days with private study taking up your afternoons slash evenings. Now you can imagine that organising such a large amount of private study can, can be a bit daunting, but over the course of your first term here at Hompton, I work with you in collaboration with change makers to develop a schedule that works for you. Each one of you is an individual and you will have different uh, methods of learning and what works better for you. Some of you will like all nighters or so be it. Some of you won't. And so we'll learn your learning methods. And as you go through the course, we'll customize those to better suit you as we move forward. And as I'll mention later on, uh, we, have a, we have a program here at Hompton, the, the Changemakers, to ensure that we teach you the right methods in time management. Um, but not only time management, but exam technique. You know, being capable in exams is just as important as learning that content, uh, among other skills that we can develop to ensure that you are in the best position to succeed on this engineering course. Now, you, if you look at the five o'clock slot at the bottom there, you'll see those things called supervisions that we've mentioned and that Timos just gave a sort of example of a problem we might tackle there. Now the department organises your lectures, labs and exams, but Homerton organises your supervisions. And these are hour-long sessions in small groups, and here is an example in the top right of a evidently enjoyable supervision that's going on. Uh, typically two to three of you with an expert in the field, such as, as myself, that teaches you the key aspects in the course and resolves any problems that you have with course content. So this time, this supervision time is critical to a student's development as any issues or misunderstandings uh, we can quickly resolve. And so we can ensure that you're on the right track and tackling the content as well as, as, well as you can. So it also gives us a eye as, as your director of studies. So I'm academically responsible for you and make sure that I, I know you're on the right track and that you're going to perform well in the course. That's hence why I supervise quite a lot. I supervise a number of modules that you were doing in first year. But in addition to those supervisions, you have your uh, DOS again. So if you look under college based teaching, you have your DOS, that's me, uh, to give you that academic guidance. So I help you with module choices, study techniques, and so on. But then you have your personal tutor. And this is another fellow. <clears throat> at the college, typically in another subject that is there purely for pastoral support. So you have academic support and you have pastoral support. So if you're having anxiety or for example, some social issues, it's your pastoral tutor that will give you that support at Hompton. And that allows us to give you an alternative source of support outside of your academic circle in the event that, you know, it, it, it's better advised they are trained to tackle those situations, something that's not so appropriate for me to help you with, you have another source of, of guidance with the tutorial department. Now, one of the most useful things you get to take advantage of at Homerton is this change makers that I've, I and Paul have mentioned. What this is, this is a program aimed at giving students an expanded set of skills in order to better tackle your career and your time here at Cambridge. And this is something that we're really pioneering at Homerton. It's quite unique to us. That we're trying to push what you gain from a Cambridge education. And with Homerton Changemakers, <clears throat> all the incoming engineers 
a, like I said, are given these lessons on study skills and time management, and they're tailored to the engineering course, developed by experts in the field, people that know about mindfulness or study skills, and myself and the, and the change makers team. One way of thinking of it is much, much like an athlete is trained to excel in their sport, we train our engineers to excel in the course and their career and in themselves. And this is known as sort of performance coaching. Okay, this level of dedication to advancing the rewards students get from their time here is quite unique to us. As part of that program, not only will we hone your exam skills, but you'll be able to network and collaborate with industry partners and establish a better position for you when you leave the college uh, and go into your career. And you're always welcome to return for advice once you've graduated. Homage and Changemakers is, uh, goes beyond while you're at home here. Now beyond Changemakers, uh, Homerton also offers an incredible library like Paul has shown, which is equipped with the principal engineering reading list. Uh, we've got our own computer facilities and spaces for collaborative and silent study, depending on what work or if you're doing a project that week, you might want to use the group space. And should it be social support you require? Well, like I've said, you've got your tutor, but Homerton has its own student union um, with its own full-time dedicated uh, employee that runs that union that's unique to Homerton and we have under their guidance we have their offices for LGBT, BME, any source of welfare uh, we have that for you and you also have your college parents so when you arrive at Homerton you will be given a mum and a dad who are current students typically in your subject and they will support you when you're settling here and through your first year so any sort of questions you have they are well trained in in solving your problems because they've been through it themselves now beyond that Homerton has the largest engineering society with the student department representative the Homertonian uh, himself so we're very active in in the engineering community we host curry nights engineering dinners in the great hall which is shown in the bottom right here we do punting trips, such as picking up the first years when they finish their final exam of the year. So we go and take you on a punt up to Grantchester where the tea rooms are, uh, which is a very beautiful place. Or we can take you to throw paint at each other and get rid of all that uh, kept up uh, aggression at the Holly Festival, which is one of the pictures in the top right of some of the engineers at Holly Festival. Not only that, our engineers have formed bands together they organize nights out and they even have their own rowing boat that enter the college rowing competitions or have done out of, uh, out of the Homerton Boat Club because obviously Homerton has its own rowing club which is uh, quite notable and they compete in all the collegiate races. But most importantly, we enter the cardboard boat race. And this is where I, I need you to shine. Our engineers attempt to build a working cardboard boat needing to be both fast and relatively safe, although safety is sort of loosely considered, with which we'll race down the river cam against other boat entrants. And the more extravagant the design, the better. If it wasn't for uh, COVID this, this year, we actually had a fire-breathing dragon uh, design uh, to do. One of the students had developed a handheld flamethrower, which at first I was concerned by, but I've come to terms with that and we were going to implement that into this boat design. Cardboard and fire obviously don't go very well, so it had to be a safe design. But that's something that we would love for you to take part in um, if you were to study at Homerton. Outside of the engineering society, uh, a lot of the engineers are involved with the college sports clubs, often known as, as the Griffins. Um, Homerton has, has the only floodlit pitches of any college and has the newest world-class artificial turfs as you would sort of normally only see in big budget American football colleges. So it's very exciting for us to have these and they're right on our doorstep, which is one of the key advantages of our location, that we have a huge campus with everything next to your rooms. Uh, we have indoor cricket nets, tennis courts, you name it, Homerton has it, including our athletics. Have our, we're gonna have our own athletics um, 
area which stands. So our, our teams have had notable success in, in recent years with the football and rugby teams in particular. I, personally, I'm a footballer, so that's more important to me. But uh, I can tell you that winning a college cup is an incredible experience. And Homerton being a very successful sports college, I, I strongly encourage you to join in with the sports teams. And uh, I can guide you with, with, with stories of the sports clubs. Um, outside of sport, Homerton has its own dance studio uh, and the 24 hour, 24 seven gym full of equipment. And there are also numerous awards and bursaries to fund your extracurricular interests. So if you're a, a sports person and you want to do a sport, Homerton has the bursaries and the uh, awards for you to apply for to supplement uh, your activities. But not only sport, we have performance arts. So uh, we have our choir and that, can, uh, that conducts regular concerts and tours. So you can tour the world. We have a jazz band, a number of independent bands across various genres, all of which are part of the Homerton Music Society. Uh, that puts on regular concerts for the students and the fellowship. And the college also does regular parties, obviously, or bops, as they're called at Cambridge. But uh, we'll leave that for another day. The students are organised numerous um, social events for, for the college students. Miles, speaking about the students, I'm just about to bring them on for our chat. Ah, right. OK. OK. We have our Performing Arts Society that puts on regular plays within the college and at the local playhouses. So really, uh, you know, whatever your interest, uh, you can do it at Homerton. And I'm, and I'm sure you'll feel at, at home here. And Homerton really is a, a home away from home for our students. They always say that um, you're a Homertonian for life and, the, and certainly the friends and, and experiences you make here will stay with you forever. 